Hello and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Marin and here you will find a little beauty, a little books, and a little teaching content. So if that sounds like something you might enjoy, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around and join me in my little corner of YouTube. Today's video is going to be my answers to the summer break teacher tag. Now, this tag was developed back in the summer of 2021, I believe, and I am not sure who actually started it. If I can figure that out, I'll put it down in the description, but otherwise, let's go ahead and get into it. So this tag is made up of 12 questions. I will put them down in the description box in case you would like to answer them yourself. Nobody really does this tag anymore, but I like to do it each summer just to kind of see how my answers might or might not change. But I will say this was geared towards that summer of the 2020-2021 school year when things were very much in flux because of COVID. So one of the questions deals directly with that. So we're just pretty much going to skip over that. Anyway, question number one wants to know where and what do you teach? So I just finished my career as a classroom teacher. I teach in the state of Missouri and I was a kindergarten teacher. I vlogged all about it. I'll link the playlist up above. But next year I am going to be a librarian for a pre-k through second grade building in the same district I worked in, just a different school and a different position. So stay tuned. I am planning on hopefully vlogging my experience as a librarian, but we'll play everything by ear. Question number two wanted to know how much of your year was spent fully in person versus remote versus hybrid. Obviously that was the question that was on everybody's mind in that summer of 2021. This is not relevant anymore because my school has been fully back in person. So we're gonna skip that one. Question number three was, what are you planning on doing the first weekend of your summer break? I had that already. My last day of school with students was June 1st. Teachers had to report in June 2nd. So my official summer break started on June 3rd. And if you wanna know what I got up to, I vlogged it. I'll link it up above. But basically, I did nothing. I chilled. I slept in. I did some reading. And that was the extent of what I got up to that first day. Question number four asks, how does your summer morning routine differ from your school morning routine? The biggest difference is there's no alarm. I get up whenever I want. I am not rushed in the slightest. A lot of times I sit and maybe watch some random TV, maybe watch some YouTube videos, scroll on my phone, maybe do some reading, but I am on my own schedule. So that's the biggest difference. I don't set an alarm. I get up whenever I feel like getting up and then I get on with my day. Number five, what's on your read list? I film monthly TBRs throughout the school year, so there's not really much difference from summer and not summer, but I'll link June's TBR up at the top if you'd like to take a look. Right now, I am working on reading All the Sinners Bleed by S.A. Cosby, which is his newest release, and I am listening to If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio, and I am also working on The Histories by Herodotus. So. That's on my read list right now because that's what I'm currently reading. Number six, what's on your watch list? This one is more difficult because normally I'm watching reruns of like crime dramas and things like that because I don't watch a lot of new TV. But one thing I am hoping to watch over the summer is Heartstopper. I have not watched it. I am like way behind. I also want to give the first episode of Shadow and Bone a go because I finished that series up last year. And if I can get the final two books finished, I do also want to watch To All the Boys I've Loved Before. So that's kind of on my radar. Also, Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power is on my radar. So we'll just see. I don't know that I'm going to watch any of them. But if I do finally check them off, those would be the ones I would go for. 
All right, number seven is asking, what have you been putting off for months that you hope to do during the summer? Nothing, really. I don't put things off because of the school year. I tend to just push through and do what I need to do. So I don't really have anything that I've been putting off that I need to do. I think I'm pretty much okay with my to-do list. Number eight, do you have a summer job or side hustle? No, no. Teaching, teaching is hard, y'all. And I really need the summers to like fully recuperate to get my mojo back to be ready and fresh for the new school year. So I do not do anything on the side aside from YouTube. All right, number nine, what is your ideal self-care summer day? I've pretty much been living that. <laughs> Waking up when I want to, having some coffee while I read or listen to an audiobook or maybe watch some YouTube videos, playing The Sims 4 or Disney's Dreamlight Valley whenever I feel like it, and indulging my love of reading when and where I want to. That's pretty much it, and that's what I've been doing. Number 10, this question always makes me laugh. It says, what is your favorite thing to do outside? Your girl doesn't like to be outside. If you've watched any of my teaching vlogs, you know that I get hot very, very easily. I am hot kind of constantly, like all the time. And it is hot here in the summer. Today's actually a nice day. I ran some errands, did some shopping and wasn't like dripping in sweat. So, you know, yay for that. The humidity is really low today. There's a nice breeze, but I don't like to be outside. I don't like the bugs. I sunburn pretty easily. It turns tan, but I do burn. Even with sunscreen, I burn. And I just don't like being outside. It's just not my thing. So the answer to this question is literally nothing. My favorite thing to do outside I don't have anything I like to do outside. I would rather be inside. Number 11 is the opposite of that. What is your favorite thing to do inside? This one is obviously read, watch TV, watch YouTube, play video games. There you go. That's my life. That's what my summer looks like. And the last question, number 12, says, what professional development do you want to do, if any? I, as of right now, have no professional development planned, mostly because I'm heading into a new position. So until I really see what the library experience is going to entail, what I might want to do a little bit more study on. I'm not doing any professional development. Last summer, I did my STEM certificate, which was a lot of fun. I vlogged that. I'll link it up above. This summer, I just don't have anything on my plate. I am not really interested in doing professional development. Our district is not really mandating any PD over the summer. I know if I was a classroom teacher, I would probably have to do some PD because we're getting a new reading curriculum for next year. But as a librarian, I'm kind of exempt from that. So I have nothing planned. I do eventually need to take some classes because in my district, if you get your plus 15 past your master's, you get like a salary boost. Right now I'm at my master's plus six from my STEM certificate. So I have like nine more credits that I need, which is three classes. But again, until I really see what my job is gonna be, I don't wanna take PD, I'd rather make it meaningful and useful rather than just checking things off to like get that pay increase, especially because I don't really wanna deal with tuition. I, I believe I can get my tuition reimbursed I was able to get some of it reimbursed for my STEM certificate, but again, until I figure that whole thing out, see what I actually want to take PD in, I'm not doing any of that over the summer. Okay, and that is the end of the summer teacher tag. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel if you would like to see more from me. And if you do this video, please link me. I would love to watch your answers. Let's bring it back this summer. Hello, any teachers out there? Please feel free to answer. I would love to see what you're up to. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.